Should you need to make amendments to employees' payslips that have already been finalised, these can be reopened and processed again. On reopening a pay period, original pay details for each employee will be retained by the software, allowing the user to amend accordingly. To reopen payslips in the last period processed, return to this payroll period by either clicking the Previous Period button on the menu bar or by selecting the period on the payroll schedule. Click on Reopen Payslips to view your list of employees. If you wish to reopen all your employees' payslips, simply click All followed by OK. Alternatively, if you only wish to reopen payslips for some of your employees, tick the Employee or Employees Required and click OK. These payslips will now be available for editing and finalising again. To reopen more than one finalised period for one or more of your employees, select the period you wish to go back to on the payroll schedule. Click on Reopen Payslips to view your list of employees. Please note this procedure will reopen all subsequent payroll periods you have finalised for the employees you select. If you wish to reopen all your employees' payslips again, simply click All, followed by OK. Alternatively, if you only wish to reopen payslips for some of your employees, tick the Employee or Employees Required and click OK. This pay period, as well as all subsequent pay periods, will now be open for processing the selected employees again. After refinalizing the pay slips, if the employee's pay date matches the pay date that was included in the original FPS, an amended FPS will not be created. Instead, the amendments made to the employee's pay slip will be included in the next FPS created when the payroll is next updated, where the employee's year to date figures will be reconciled. Alternatively, an additional FPS can be submitted to HMRC to inform them of the updated year-to-date figures for the employee. An additional FPS can be prepared and submitted to HMRC within the RTI menu. If a different pay date is used on the employee's payslip, a new FPS will be created. However, please note submitting a new FPS using a different pay date may cause reconciliation issues with HMRC if they have already received an FPS for the same period already. If an FPS has been created but not yet submitted to HMRC, any amendments made to an employee's payslip will be automatically updated within the unsent FPS when the payslip is finalised again. If all employees' payslips are reopened, the unsent FPS will be deleted altogether. Please note if you discover an error in any of your year-to-date totals submitted in your final FPS or additional FPS for the tax year, and it is now after the 19th of April following the end of the tax year, then only an earlier year update can be submitted. An earlier year update, or EYU, simply reports the adjustment made in the payroll as opposed to reporting restated year-to-date totals for the tax year to HMRC. For example, if you previously submitted a year-to-date pay figure of £10,000 for an employee on your last FPS for the year, then realise that the figure should have been £12,000, after making the correction, the EYU will submit the change to the pay figure as plus £2,000. To submit an EYU, first reopen the pay slips, make your amendments and finalise accordingly. Next, in the RTI menu, Select Earlier Year Update from the new menu and submit to HMRC.